Oh, I should have gone to you earlier. I didn't know you were holding from Australia. I apologize. Andrew, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good day, Alex. How are you going, mate? I'm doing all right, brother. What's on your mind today? Well, I want to talk about something that's been bugging me for quite a while. I love your show and I love what you do. But, mate, there's been something that's been going on in the back blocks of society for quite a while. And it's kind of... I, I don't know, mate, because I'm a defector. Well, listen, I mean, if, if it's if it's made up gossip or that I have crooked toenails, I have to admit it's true. But I, I don't know where you're going with this. But if it's something about me, just go ahead and say it and we'll move on. But we're talking about government and, and, and big establishment hoaxes today and things that are going on. But if we don't screen your calls, if people want to bring something up, go ahead. Just bring it up. It's the biggest hoax in society today. And... I, I was a defector since 911, mate. And I probably would have been a defector if anything else had occurred the way I was. It, it's just like the music's all about it. Well, let me ask you a question. How? Uh, what is it, like 7 or 8 in the morning there or, or 6 in the morning? What time is it in Australia? 4 a.m. in the morning here. And I'm going to ask you a question. Are you either very sleepy or have you had some... Have you had some beer? I've stayed up. Uh, I stay up quite late to listen to the Alex Jones show every night. It's pretty much my only refuge because I love this show. I love how it tells the truth. Well, listen, you're no, awesome. Boil down then what the hoax is because I'm, I'm just having trouble making out what you're saying. I reckon Alex Jones can go one step further and tell the real truth about societal hopes that has been going on since Noah. Well, brother, you can tell it. You're on the air. What is it? You know what it is. You said you said yourself that if somebody doesn't become a man by the time they're 15, they're thrown aside. And it's the biggest secret in society. And you know what it is. We well, all I'm, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting an idea, but no, I'm not psychic. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Listen, I know they have, they want arrested development. They want to break up the family. They don't want chivalry. They don't want men to be honorable. They want us to just comply and go along and only have specialized men that are used by the state to oppress. But, but I mean, what is it? Tell us. You know exactly what it is. This is conformers and defectors and nonconformists, and this is what society is based on and this is oh you're, you're saying we need more rebels we need more people to be no. free spirits no no not exactly free spirits but, but listen i really want to know you got me on the edge of my seat what is the big secret i do not know what you're i mean what is it you keep saying i know i, I don't i i'm i cannot tell what i'm not the great karnak here tell me you're a stonewalling alex no, no, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! You're creating, you're creating a paradox or or a, 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 to say I'm lying or to say I won't tell people something, and then you're on air and you won't tell us. Uh, what is it? Exactly what it is. You you asked me. You asked me what I'm talking about. This is a hilarious call because because you're saying I won't say what it is, but you're on air and you won't say. You're stonewalling. I will say exactly what it is. It, it is based in all music. It is based in all movies. It is based in anything that is popular culture. It is pushed. It's in an agenda, and you will not face it. Okay, you know okay, exactly okay, oh, oh, okay. Well, let's stop right there. I'm going to skip this network break because we're already getting Gregory on late, and he should be, and he should be calling in any minute. Uh, and this guy will say, the people that always say, he went to break right when the key question got asked. We go to break at 20 after unless I skip it, which I'm really not supposed to do, but I'm horrible and I do. And that's just what we do here. Okay. Um, it's in music. It's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of agendas in music. The anti-family agenda. Uh, they're promoting homosexuality so people don't have kids. Uh, they're promoting an anti-male agenda. Uh, they're promoting uh, a big government agenda. Um, this goes way deeper. Okay, uh, the occult. It is beyond that. And All right, well, listen, I'm going to have to let you go because it's not fair to sit here and do this, okay? You got 30 seconds from Australia there with your ice-cold beer. 
to tell me right now why you're not sharing it. No, 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 seriously. You've got 30 seconds. It's informers, it's, it's defective. It is people that go against the grain. Maybe it's because I didn't become a man when I wasn't supposed to or whatever. I don't know what it is. You are torturing me. And I don't necessarily, whatever it is, agree with what you're about to say. But, I mean, what is the $64 million? It. What is it? Well, that'll be the name of this segment. What is it, the secret? I mean, uh, is it is it that I won't admit that Easter bunnies are actually in control of things? Well, maybe, maybe you don't know. Maybe you're oblivious. But I reckon the people that do know will not admit it. And the people that do know will push the agenda. And Man, but it's not I'm fair. Saying, it's not intellectually fair for you to call in and, and, and say, I know something that's really important, and then not say it. Just say it. I am saying it. Ten years ago, 9-11 happened, right? Twelve years ago, yeah. I was a different person back then. And I went against the system. I knew it was a hoax. I, I knew something was wrong with it. I could tell by the way they were reported and everything. And then I was tagged, which means I got a glass in my face. Well, and I mean, I exposed 9-11 as clearly being a fraud, the official story. And uh, I, listen, I hear you. So, so you're saying that, that there's a system where, where you get blackballed if you don't play ball with the system? Is, is that the big secret? That moment, I knew a friend of mine told me when I was in high school, which I never really registered until that moment I got glassed in the face, is he said, my old man reckons you're a defector. There's two kinds of people in this world, conformers and defectors, and you're a defector. And I said, no, I, I just brushed it off at the time. Sure, well, what happens when enough of us defect from the system, we build a new, better system, and that's what we need is renewal in the cycle. So, so that's the answer is we need to be, we need to be uh, individuals, and that's what the system fears, and I totally agree with you. You got 10 seconds if there's anything else. Okay. Let me just tell you, this is all leading up to something. I don't know what. It is about to happen, and I just cannot explain. I can't explain because I'm... No, no, I hear you. You out. sound like a smart guy, but be honest. You stayed up late. How, 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 you've had about, you had about 10 beers? Uh, about 16 beers, but whatever. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. I'll see you later, bro. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Oh, let's talk to Bob in Michigan. Bob, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. That, that was a good one. That was one of those ones you put down in your notes there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the things I, I kind of look at these situations, especially the hoaxes, if you can kind of distill it down to something really basic, and, and, and the same things, of course, are, have been perpetrated against us as a people. There's nothing really new. But Lenin said it, you know, confuse the meaning of words and you confuse the mind. And that's where a lot of these atrocities are coming from, telling people they can't have somebody in their home without a permit or going in and uh, identifying um, uh, things that are not in line with their whatever their agencies these agencies are the illegitimate quote unquote fourth arm of government and they're definitely being written as they're the, the actual truth and that's how you get a lot of these uh, police officers unfortunately think they're just doing their job will come out and enforce that when really this has absolutely nothing to do with what you would call the private citizen. No, no, that, exactly. That's the hoax. They've created all these new rules and regulations that aren't even in law, but that masquerade at is it to give it the illusion of that when it's completely a rogue state within a legitimate state. Exactly. And you're working one system within the other, and it's getting more and more difficult. People are talking about the results, and they're bad. You don't, you don't want somebody saying that you can't have a barbecue in your backyard or have your children playing in the pool, etc., but what they're doing is they're taking that from basically the corporate aspect of this where they can say the grass is orange, and because they say so, then it's so. People have to understand, and there will be a lot of looking through the minutiae of this, but that's the, that's the big, huge 
uh, problem staring us in the face. You are confusing the meaning of words, and we are being confused in our mind, saying, yes, we have these constitutional rights. Uh, actual agencies don't have constitutional rights. They can write it up any way they want. You can talk EPA, you can talk a any of these things, and that is where a great deal of this tyranny is coming from. Absolutely, and it's called Agenda 21, and people need to wake up to it. Great point. So you're saying that's the big hoax, is that we have a fraudulent government system within the system that is slowly absorbing uh, the constitutional system. Exactly, and you just have to be alert, be aware, don't be confused in your mind. Look at it for exactly what it is, and, and hopefully that'll, that, that's going to draw a big circle around a lot of these things that were brought up. Great points, great call. Wow, Bob in like two minutes said more than wisdom than I could say in an hour. That absolutely crystallized a system within a system. Now we're joined for the balance of the hour by Dick Gregory, always a very interesting guest. Um, you know, one of the top comedians out there who used uh, his great wit to you know promote a real civil rights movement, a civil rights icon who marched with Dr. Martin Luther King and many others. And uh, he's got a new uh, film that he's in out uh, that, that we're going to be talking about, Unsung Hollywood. We're going to play about three or four minutes of that in the last segment today. And since uh, Dick was a little bit late today, hopefully we, we can get him back a little bit sooner for a second interview in a couple months to take your phone calls. But he's with us till the end of the hour, DickGregory.com. And he joins us to talk about the waterfront. Mr. Gregory, good to have you on with us. Bless you, my brother. Peace and love to you. And just thank you for being there. <laughs> Every time I do your show, it's almost like I'm on a black station. So many black folks see me in the street and say, I heard you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just a people station, my friend. Well, no, it's more than that. See, there's a, there's a certain clairvoyant that, that black folks born with. We don't have it as much now as we used to. But that, that, that's always been there. And so they can listen to you and no, ain't no tricking going on and no nothing. They don't even have to question. Very seldom you hear a black person talking about conspiracy theory, right? <laughs> the conspiracy theory is the New York Times and the Washington Post and NBC and CBS. And just thank God that all these radio stations like yours and, and you know, the one problem I have, I, I listened to the last part of your interview just now with the, the guy. Yes, sir. And you very seldom hear this on the, you know, you, you all know everything, okay, because you hang to the right, you've been in there, you've been in the military, you know what this country's doing. And to sit and say this just started, y'all know better than that. What are you frightened of, huh? What are you frightened of? A Jack Paul show, back in the 60s, when I said on the Jack Paul show, I said, you know, it's hard to believe this government taps my telephone. And Jack went crazy. America taps your telephone? What do you, how can you prove that? I see any time a Negro in America can old bell telephone $60,000 and they don't cut the phone off, it's tapped. Hmm? It's tapped. I'm the one released the pictures with Ron Brown with the bullet in the back of his head. Oh, I know, I know. You were you were the original Alex Jones. That's right. So now we don't have to worry about this plane here. We've seen it happen, but for some reason, a lot of these white shows that know this don't go all the way. What are you scared of? You love America? No, 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 no. I agree that America's been corrupt from the beginning, and so has every other country. The thing is, it's getting more scientific. It's, it's it definitely the evil's growing. Oh, no, you're right. It's getting more scientific. But I'm saying when it wasn't this scientific, it was few people that that, that, that understand it. Well, plus, back then the when you were exposing day. it, um, huh? I mean, I mean, back then they used to kill people routinely that talked about it. Oh, they do now. They do now. The reason... The reason it's better off now, you're telling me what they used to do. This is just your, here, here's something that's interesting. The Chicago Tribune, and at that time it was probably the third best newspaper in the country, so by their count, Friday, March the 10th, 1978, headlines, FBI memo used mob to kill Dick Gregory. No other paper ran this. I bet if they would have found something where I was talking to some Black Panthers to kill Hoover, it would have been in all the papers. Unbelievable. Let's come back. Uh, Dick Gregory's our guest, incredible individual. On the other side, stay with us, DickGregory.com.
We're on the march.